in the know, getting answers on the issues that matter, answers that move the story forward. This is New Egypt where the police is really protecting its people while they're doing peaceful demonstrations. By and large, uh, the South Korean people are not uh, in panic. The question is, Americans want answers to American citizens who have been killed in this process. Do they deserve answers? Armand Paul, tonight only on CNN. on CNN, CNN News Center, followed by Connect the World, then Armand Paul. It's your evening lineup tonight on CNN. My mission is to get the viewers to understand the world around them. People are starved for news about the world and context about the world. The show is able to appeal to people at every level. For Reed Zakaria GPS, Sunday on CNN. CNN continues the fight to end modern day slavery, bringing people together to take a stand for freedom. We just had no idea that when CNN got a hold of the story that there was going to be such an overwhelming response. On TV and online, the CNN Freedom Project. We're happy to see you. Together, there is hope. And together, we are making a difference. As soon as you see the face of someone you're helping, it makes everything worth it. Join us in the fight. The CNN Freedom Project. I'm David McKenzie in Beijing. This is CNN. I'm Anisha Tank at CNN London. The headlines this hour. The European Union has condemned police action against protesters in cities across Turkey. Police used tear gas and water cannon to disperse rock-throwing crowds on the third day of protests. Opposition to the removal of downtown Istanbul Park swelled to become violent and anti-government demonstrations. China's state-run news agency reports at least 93 people have been killed in a poultry plant fire. Survivors tell the news agency that the plant's gates were locked and more than 300 workers were inside. Witnesses say they heard a loud bang, then saw dark smoke. At least one person has died and two more are missing after torrential rain caused landslides and severe flooding across Austria. Some areas had up to two months rain in a matter of days. There's also been flooding in parts of the Czech Republic and Germany. Those are the headlines from CNN. I'm Manisha Tank. World Business Today starts right now. Good morning from CNN London. I'm Charles Hodson. Welcome to World Business Today. Our top stories this Monday. The Turkish Prime Minister defends his economic record and his leadership as his police clamp down on protests across the country. Dozens are dead in China after a fire ripped through a poultry factory in the northeast of the country. And we investigate the growing trade in illegal dog smuggling to feed demand for dog meat in Vietnam. Well, first, the markets. Asia closed mixed after conflicting reports on China's manufacturing sector, although overall it appears to be weak, and the Nikkei has plunged to a six-week low. In Europe, we've just had a raft of manufacturing data out, uh, and we're going to break that down in a moment. But uh, in the United States, it's all about jobs. Of course, the monthly payroll report, the state of the labor market in May, we'll get those figures on Friday. Okay, let's turn to Turkey, and here are some of the images that have been coming out of Turkey over the past few days. What began as a small protest over the government's plan to demolish a park in central Istanbul swelled into confrontations between protesters and police in several cities. Well, more demonstrations are expected on Monday. Despite tens of...